and the world of a three-year-old girl nicknamed Cooey. This is fun. Concepts are simple. Because I love it. And energy is endless. Yeah, me, yeah. When she's not jumping on the trampoline, she's chasing chickens. Now let me catch something. On her small family farm near Bertha. <gasps> you got out, buddies. You got out, guys. I'm so happy. <laughs> when it's time to stop for a snack, we can talk about how between Cooey and her older sister, who's five, Cooey is the easier one to handle. Thank you for the milk. According to mom, Melissa Kepler, who says the two sisters are best friends. We can barely get the kids to sit down for meals. They just are tearing around, and I throw food out on the porch like I'm feeding wild dogs or something. <laughs> What's amazing about Cooey isn't her energy. What's amazing about this three-year-old little girl is her heart. I'm okay. So this is a picture of Cooey the night of her surgery. and um, She was four months old. You just can't imagine what that is like to see your kid sitting like that. Doctors told Melissa that her new daughter was born with a serious problem. Which was essentially a plumbing defect of the heart. If you think about your heart, it, it's this ball of muscle, right? And it's wrapped in these blood vessels that supply blood to that heart. But Koi's blood vessels developed incorrectly. Instead of attaching to the aorta, bringing fresh oxygen to the heart, her vessels attach to the pulmonary artery, which carries the oxygenated blood. So her heart just wasn't getting the oxygen it needs to sustain that heart muscle. Koi's heart was starting to die. Those are the kids that end up, you know, it ends up being a SIDS baby. It ends up being dead in the bed that night. And if she hadn't been, if we hadn't discovered this, that would have been her. She needed immediate open heart surgery at Children's Hospital. Things looked grim at that point. I think it was our anesthesiologist who um, came and as part of his consent said, this is, you know, she's got a 50-50 shot of surviving the surgery. That was not only did Cooey survive, I get wild, I get wild, I get wild. she is thriving, <laughs> even though her heart still has a malfunctioning valve. Just the fact that she survived her surgery and then she recovered and now she's growing her heart into some sort of efficient machine that powers this really wild kid. She can do anything. She can do absolutely anything. Cooey is supposed to have more surgeries. Instead, she's had none. I have no explanation for why that is. She's supposed to be weak. <laughs> and this year, Cooey just completely independently said, this year I'm running the Boulder Boulder. <laughs> Cooey is training for the 10K or 6.2 mile race. Okay, let's jog. I'm faster. I know you're faster. The race that her extended family runs every year on Memorial Day together. What do you think? Good. Think you can keep this up for six more miles? Yes. Don't forget, she's still just three. No, I'm going to tire. You're going to whine? Energy-wise, she All could right. run 100 miles. Getting her to run in a single direction, one, hands one. off my face. That's going to be the challenge. <laughs> think we can do the whole boulder boulder like this? Yes. Yeah. You think so? Huh? Whether she finishes the race or is carried across the finish line. <laughs> I thought we'd show Cooey to the world and show how strong her heart is, show how how great she's done, how, how well they did at Children's Hospital, how well all the people did that got her to this point. This is really uncommon. In the world of a three-year-old, anything is possible. And Cooey's run is just getting started. I think she really did wear herself out showing off for you guys. Nelson Garcia, 9 News.